Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Wabwasha. So in case you've not noticed, I have like a half done face and I was in the middle of getting ready when I saw something. I usually like watching makeup videos when I'm getting ready. So I'm in this Facebook group that's like for makeup stuff. Like people just post their daily makeup looks and makeup videos. So there's this lady who does uh, live videos, like she just does her makeup live and teaches people because she's in a beauty school abroad, I think, if I'm not wrong. Anyways, so she was doing her makeup, she was setting her highlight and then someone asked her, so can you use baby powder to set your face? And this lady like went mad, she was like, no, you can't use baby powder, at least like in her school, apparently she'd been taught that it's wrong. So I was like, you know what, let me come on here and we can test that theory out. So if you're new to my channel, what I normally usually use to set my face is this right here. And this is the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I love this powder because A, it is very finely milled. The powder particles are really tiny, which makes it, you know, that much more flawless on your skin and the other thing is that eh, i can't speak the other thing is that it's yellow and for women of color a powder that is yellow tone as opposed to using a translucent powder usually just looks better on our skin so this is what i usually use and it goes for 3500 which is, is a bit pricey to be honest <laughs> so this is the other culprit for setting the highlight underneath your eyes but the other lady refused and said you cannot use and this is baby powder this is the Carson's one and this is written mild and gentle dermatology eh, dermatology why can't i say this word derma what dermatologically yes dermatologically tested so this is what i'm going to use to, to set one half of my face and then we can compare this by the way is like 200 shillings for this big jar this is 200 grams and this is uh, 28 grams <laughs> as usual the first thing that i'm going to do is set underneath my eyes with the illegals pro concealer in warm honey so i'm just going to use that to highlight under there That, that is on there i'm going to set this side with the sasha powder i'm going to set this other side plus my forehead with the baby powder i just put it on this mixing plate right here and i'm going to use it from here To leave this to bake as i do my contouring and then i'll be right back and we can sip it off and see the difference between both sides it's been around like let's say five minutes or even less because i know if i leave this powder for too long i'll have like a white cast on my face so i'm just going to swipe it off using this brush over here So there are like certain differences straight off the bat like just by wiping it off i can see that they don't look totally similar but what i'm going to do is i'm going to finish up the rest of my face and then i'm going to come back and we can discuss uh the both sides so this is the complete makeup look and like i said i honestly don't think there's such a big difference that if you saw me you'd be like oh my god she has baby powder on her face i mean there are slight differences like for instance this side does look a bit warmer compared to this side as you can see this side looks a bit more how do i put it like whitish compared to this other side which looks more yellowish personally i do prefer the yellower look which is why i use the sasha powder but if you use a translucent powder like the illegal one you will get this same look and it's still not baby powder so 
I honestly don't think using the baby powder is such a bad thing. Like if I ever run out of my Sasha and I have baby powder, I'll feel very comfortable uh, replacing it and using the baby powder because I don't know, I feel like it still looks smooth just like this side does. The only difference is the color and like somewhere on my forehead where you don't really have a side by side comparison, it, it honestly just looks okay. As in it's not that bad thing that i will be worried about when using the baby powder is flashback and in case you don't know what flashback is basically if you've seen some of these memes people make and then there's this really pretty girl well dressed her makeup looks nice but then once her picture is taken using a flash she looks like a ghost so basically i'm just afraid that if i take pictures with a flash this half of my face might look very white and ghostly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the flash test right now and see, you know, if the ha this half of my face is okay. So I've just done the flash test and as you can see, I got a bit carried away and took down my hair and took so many selfies. So I'm going to insert the picture right about now. And as you can see, there is no flashback at all on both sides, which for me, I don't know, I feel very happy about this because I mean this, baby powder is 200 shillings so it's a nice substitute especially for when i'm filming because i usually literally just do the makeup and then immediately take it off so it's nice to use like a 200 bob powder instead of a 3500 bob one and then take it off immediately my final thoughts on the powder if you can't afford the 3500 sasha buttercup powder or you just think that it's honestly a lot of money to spend on a powder this one works well, it's 200 shillings. Just don't get carried away with it. Don't put too much of it and don't let it fit on your face for too long. And in case you put it and you find that your face is looking a bit white, just take your face powder, just the Kawaida face powder and your face brush and then go over it slightly and it will tone it down it for today's video don't forget to like comment share and if you're new to this channel please subscribe down below and join the best squad which is the slay squad i post new videos every mondays and thursdays always remember to work hard and have good intentions until next time bye